Hi, I'm Lauren. Welcome back. Today it's 1.37 and I am playing dress up today. I have sort of just one theme. Usually I have many things going on in different frames, but this was just such a thing that I decided to make it the whole, the whole drawing, the whole storyboard. So today is one year since I moved to the Netherlands and so I wanted to celebrate. And so I put on makeup, which I don't usually do. I just don't, I just don't have reasons to get all that dressed up right now. So usually I just put on a little sunscreen and uh, jeans and a t-shirt and, and go out. But I thought, no, today I am going to put on a dress and make an effort, put on some makeup. And I was planning to go to Utrecht, but the weather is not cooperating. So I decided to just go to Amsterdam. And that's always fun to go to the center of Amsterdam. So that's what I did. And I'm still not really comfortable with drawing bodies yet, but I'll, I'll get there eventually. So here's what I ended up doing. Black velvet dress, some socks that I wore inside out because I like the fuzzies sort of special sparkle and uh, a jean jacket and then I have this plunging neckline going on so I put on a velvety wrap not wrap scarf that um, kind of helps pull things together and my triangle earrings and I went to Amsterdam and I had a lovely time when I got back Linda had bought some a bouquet of flowers for me which was quite lovely I wanted to get flowers but I had so many packages that I didn't want to stop and get flowers so that was my day I was thinking I would like to maybe look at introducing a little color into some of the some of the sketches that I'm doing and this is not this is not a surprise I well maybe it is to you but I I'm always wanting to, to add color and I have a lot of things. I have markers and watercolor and um, colored pencils. So I have a lot of stuff. I just haven't taken the plunge and I was kind of trying to keep these just as sketches because I thought, well, if I want to make them into like a book or something, I don't want to use watercolor, but uh, I don't think I'm going to make them into a book. I just don't not at this time. So I did decide to choose this one square and uh, use multimedia to try different things. So as you saw, I'm using watercolor in the background just to kind of give it some definition. The <laughs> I was thinking, should I paint my skin? But no, really, um, the, the paper is, my, fa my my skin is not that white, but it's pretty light. I'm pretty pale, so I'm just letting letting that part go. But anyway, I thought if I put some color in the background, it would make it pop. And then I painted my jeans jacket without a whole lot of... Everybody knows what jeans look like, so I don't have to go to a lot of detail about distressed and wrinkles and all that stuff. The scarf you're not so familiar with. This is something that I, I found this fabric in a store in California, in Orange County, and I just fell in love with the pattern. It's kind of a stretchy, velvety kind of thing. And it has, it's basically a dark color. By that I mean like little specks of dark blue and little specks of black and then it has the sort of sherbet colored dots on it and it's it's just a really unique fabric and I've I've had it for a really long time and considering that I came to the Netherlands with almost nothing you can tell that I really it's really important to me that I that I have this because otherwise it wouldn't have made the trip So I can, I can just work a piece of artwork to death. I can just keep going and going. So that's what I'm doing now, giving it a little bit more definition. 
the Sharpie just kind of stopped working, so that wasn't really what I wanted to do. Maybe a little lipstick would be good. Yep. Uh huh. And uh, that's an acrylic, so it just covered up the pen more than I wanted it to. And then just a little bit of sparkle for the buttons on my jeans jacket and a little bit of detail for the stitching on the jeans jacket. And considering this is a really small square, uh, I think I squeezed a lot in there. So let me know what you think and tell me, what are you doing today?